Yes, sir. What is going on, YouTube? It is your boy, Denali, a.k.a. Don Squally. And in today's video, we are back at it, playing some Project Cars Go. Just watch that ad and get ourselves a free box there and see what's inside. We got 5,000 credits, five diamonds, which are actually pretty useful. Um, and a couple, I'm not really sure what these, uh, what these other mods are here. Maybe you guys can let me know down in the comments section. Uh, but now that we got all that, out of the way uh, we're gonna jump into the car section and check out tier one um, so we got the Mustang looks like uh, I don't know what a Janetta is never heard of that company before uh, keep in mind I am from Canada so there's a few European cars here that I don't really recognize uh, there's our GT86 which we already own here uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out tier two here got the Camaro the Ferrari F40 for 110,000 credits or the Camaro for 90,000 credits. That's kind of a little bit of a, a, an anomaly. Is anomaly the right word? That's a little bit screwed up there because the Camaro obviously costs much less uh, than the F40 there. The AMG GTR. Um, we got the Skyline GTR, which I'm liking right now. Uh, the Renault Alpine. Um, again, in Canada, we don't have the Renaults, um, but uh, yeah, that's uh, I don't, I'm not really sure about that car. Uh, so it looks like here we can get some boxes, but only if we pay for them. Thirteen ninety nine. I think we're gonna go ahead and pass on that one. Um, so I'm pretty much uh, already sold on the uh, the. Nissan GTR there but we're going to check out some tier 3 cars these might be a little bit out of our price range here uh, got the Mustang the Opal Porsche another Alpine there so I'm thinking what we're probably going to do for today's video um, is jump in that CalSonic Nissan R32 GTR let's go ahead and buy this with our credits here Suzanne's the salesperson. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Appreciate all your help. But give me the car, please. We're, we're trying to make, you know, we're trying to make a video here. Uh, so pulling in the garage, this thing's looking like an absolute beauty. I love the livery on this thing. Uh, wish we could upgrade the wheels, make them uh, just a little bit bigger. Uh, but nonetheless first things we're going to check out is our upgrades here so uh, with the upgrades here it's pretty much upgrading your top speed acceleration cornering and shifting uh, you don't really get the op the, the option uh, to mod the outside of the vehicle so what i think we'll do is just jump into some races uh, i don't want to spend too much more money on this car so we're going to go race right now and race four here looks like it's going to be a circuit track. Uh, 7,500 credits is going to... Oh, we can only use the GT86. Come on now. Come on now. So now the only downside to this game is you're kind of forced to do the races that they want you to do at whatever specific time. Uh, so right now we're on the time trials here. So we're going to jump into this time trial here since it's the only race that I can do with this car. And um, we're going to see, it doesn't say what the best time is here, but we're going to jump into this one real quick and uh, see if we can do something uh, worth putting on video here so first time ever driving this vehicle missing our, our starting shift there gonna try to hit this shift point here now this thing definitely already a lot more speed coming into these turns than in the GT86 swinging that back end out just a little bit now I guess the big difficulty with this game is as you get into driving faster cars, it's going to get a little bit more difficult uh, to hit these check uh, these checkpoints here. Coming around the corner, heavy into the high RPM range, going to hit that shift, crossing the finish line, and it's looking like 47.6, which is going to put us right around 92nd place now i think we can do a little bit better than that so we're going to go ahead and give this one more shot here 
hit missing that that starting rev spot getting the perfect shift now the great thing about this car is that it's you can see it's just getting a little squirrely but because it's all-wheel drive it straightens itself out as soon as you're getting on the gas here you can see the back end wants to come out but those front wheels just gripping this car the whole way around the corner and it is much faster than the GT86 I have to say um, now I'm not exactly sure which car I want to buy next in this game so if you guys do have any requests let me know down in the comments section did we beat our best time looks like we did beat it but I don't know if that's going to put us much higher in the rankings here uh, so we're 90th place now that's not terrible uh, not great but not terrible now I would like to do a race here uh, we completed season one series two and if I had to guess yeah they still want me to use a tier one vehicle for uh, to finish off the uh, the rest of this series here so what I think we're gonna do uh, just for the rest of this video is see if we can beat that time trial one more time and uh, see if we can do better than 90th place. I mean, I feel I don't feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna beat it, but I feel like we can try to do at least a little bit better. Uh, we want the tier two, so we can use our Calsonic uh, R32 here, and then I think I'm probably gonna do uh, another video buying a tier one car, um, and then we're gonna see uh, if we can beat the rest of the series in in that car. Cause I don't know, I'm just kind of over the GT86. It was the first car that I was able to buy in this game. Um, it was actually free and the other options I wasn't really too into. Uh, so I think the GT86 for me has kind of run its course. Um, so I think we're probably uh, in the next video gonna hopefully be able to trade it in uh, for something a little different. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that if you guys have been enjoying uh, enjoying the Project Cars Go. Just been trying to kind of, uh, you know, add some new content to the channel um, until Forza Horizon 5 comes out. But as you can see, 47.3. So we actually did beat uh, our last time. Uh, and that's going to put us in 90th place. So we just beat our own time here. Didn't really put us up in the rankings. Uh, but nonetheless, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I do like this car. I'm a little bummed out that we couldn't actually do uh, some racing in this one. Uh, what is this? New mission. We get to claim this box. Yes, we do. Lots of diamonds. Those are going to come in handy. Uh, I'm a little bummed out that we didn't get the opportunity to actually do some racing in this thing. Um, but this was just purchasing time trials and maybe, I don't know, in the near future, we will be uh, doing some actual uh, doing some actual races with this thing uh, But as always if you guys did enjoy this one Don't forget to smash that like button if you guys want to see more and you are not subscribed yet Definitely do so we got a lot more coming uh, in the near future on the channel. You guys know uh, We're not stopping. We're just kind of uh you know, we're, we're trying to get some new content out there. Like I say, uh, I've been saying this. The channel was bort, born, <laughs> bort. the channel was born uh, basically around Forza Horizon, the whole concept. And then we started doing the request builds and stuff like that. Uh, so let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see anything in specific. But with that being said, I'm your boy, Dean Ali, a.k.a. Don Squally. Uh, this is the Calsonic R32. Hope you guys did enjoy this one. And with that being said, we gonna catch your mofos at the next one man please don't die oh shit where you going bro don't be creeping on my friend don't be creeping on my friend you and your homie oh nut shot nut shot oh buddy go and your boy man get him out of here oh, fucking... oh my god